today we're going to be looking at something that I've mentioned a few times in previous videos. Again, this is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description for the full playlist. Um, and I don't want to speak badly. Uh, it's, it, it works fine for what it does, it's, but it's not one of my favorite features of Kin Live, although I do use it regularly for, for credits in a video, and, or just basic text, is the title clip editor. It actually does a fairly good job. It's just never looks that great. But basically, we're going to generate some text today. So let's go ahead. I'm going to right click up here or click on this drop down here and choose Add Title Clip. Now, right away, you have a black screen. Now, you can generate a title clip with different color backgrounds, black or, or otherwise. But let's say you want to be able to put text over an image. First of all, let's go ahead and hit cancel here. Let's click somewhere in the middle here. And now I'm going to go back and say add title clip. Now I can click show background. You still don't see it though. If we go here to background, we're going to make the opacity zero. Now you can see the background. And now I can click in here and I can start typing www.filmsbychris.com. And there we go. We have it in black. I can grab it and move it around. I can change the font size, the font color. I can change the font itself to any font that I have installed on my system. Uh, I can also, so one of the things I guess I should tell you is, you know, sometimes like if I put it over my hair there, it's black. So let's say you wanted subtitles. So, so basically a title clip editor is good for credits, small words at the bottom of the screen like uh, um, uh, subtitles. Let's say you're translating something. And a big mistake with subtitles is lots of times in movies that don't put any care into it will uh, have like white like this. But then you'll have something like that where it's white in the background and you can't read it. I think that was a, a skit in Austin Powers, wasn't it? Uh, so uh, one way to avoid that issue in making your font so you don't know whether the video is going to be black or white in the background is to add a border around it. Uh, so the way we do that, well, you can always add a shadow, but that's not really what I'm talking about. Uh, somewhere they moved it since last I used it. Where did that go? They really have moved a lot of stuff around here in the last release. right there, right in front of me. It used to be up here, I think. Anyway, choose a color, which if you're using white text, you probably want a black outline. So make that black, and then you can start bumping this up until you start seeing. If you look at my font now, it now has a black outline. So if I was to put that to zero again, It's almost impossible to read in front of the window here. But if I put an outline of, in this case, about 25, and I think it will make a difference on the resolution of your video, now it doesn't matter whether you're against a black background or a white background, you can still read that text. Now, just like pan and zoom, you can center your text, right justify, left justify, top, bottom. So you can put it down here, or we can center it here. So if you want it at the bottom center, you would or let's say the top center, you would say top and center. Or if you want it at the bottom, you'd say bottom and center. And it's centered there. So that's that's pretty cool. Another option, you know, you can use a, uh, a gradient. And uh, you can choose different colors. Let's choose a red here. You can choose where the colors fade from. And you can also choose the angle. I think I quickly showed that in an earlier video. So there's that. Again, font you can underline, italicize, and uh, letter spacing. So you can put bigger spaces between the letters. Line spacing, if you have multiple lines, and these can be multiple lines. If you do adjustments like that, you're going to want to center it again if you want it centered. Uh, if you do have multiple lines, you can, well, let's see. Let's add a new piece of text here. Oops, just added two. Anyway, 
blah, 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 enter, blah, 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 enter, blah, blah, enter, blah, blah. So right now everything's left justified or left aligned. We can center the text inside that box or put it to the right of that box. If we wanted it centered, centered, we would center the text here and then also center it here and here. And now it's centered on the screen. If you want, you can choose one and hit delete, choose another, hit delete. Um, oh, and then there I'm, I was actually deleted a word. Um, sometimes what I find difficult about editing text in here is, okay, I can grab this to move it around, but now if I want to edit it, there we go. It's, I, sometimes it's hard to figure out whether you're editing the text or moving the text. So that's one of my, my complaints about it, but really the interface is great. What it does is great. It's just, it doesn't really create anything spectacular. So again, it'd be good for subtitles or credits really. Um, another thing you can do, so let's go back to our background here, turn the opacity back up to 255. So we have a black background. You can change the background to a different color. So turn this up, turn this here. Okay. So now I have a blue background or a pink background and we'll go back to black. Um, so you can have different color backgrounds. Is that centered? That's not centered. Let's see. Centered, centered. There we go. Now animations, this is kind of useful. If you are going to just use this and maybe as an outgoing text to a video, uh, having it kind of zoom in or out, I always find kind of nice. So let's go ahead and just click either start or end, uh, depending on whether you want to zoom it in or out. So I can do this. And you can see both of these here. And by default, these clips are five seconds long and you can change that up here. Uh, but I can grab this and I can zoom it down. So this is our end clip. And then I can use this, I can center this. And what's gonna happen now is so the camera is zoomed out and then it zooms in. So now if I click okay, I can drag this here. And as we watch, you can see, oh, it slowly zooms in over the five seconds. And that looks pretty good if you add in a uh, from black to black, make them a little bit shorter. So now it kind of fades in, fades out. And I do do that a lot with just plain white text. I don't usually make it all rainbow colored like that. Now I just uh, deleted that little overlay. That's, that's, if, uh, if I wanted the transparency to the next video underneath it. So let's go ahead and go back into our, our clip here by double clicking it. Go back to our background and set the opacity to zero again and click show background. We can click OK. And now when I drag it here, we can see me behind it with this text zooming in. And this is what's allowing that. If I remove that, Oh, it does still do it. I don't know what that's for then. <laughs> just to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, so this is the title clip editor. If you just need to do quick and easy text, it's the way to go. If you want to have a nice intro, I recommend generating text somewhere else, either Blender or that cool text website I showed you in the previous video, or design it yourself in like GIMP or, um, what is it, Draw? Is that what it's called in LibreOffice? You know, if you're going to work with... Uh, CVS files or CVG files, I mean. Um, so yeah, I hope that that's a quick overview. You could also do, um, let me go back in here, something I haven't done much, but I know you can do. Show background, actually let's make the background black again. Let's delete this text. Can I delete this text? There we go. And I'm gonna go blah, 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 blah. blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's center that, center it, center it, and let's see, simple scroll. So there are presets here. Oh, I guess it will load a new template. I guess you have to do that first. So text here. Let's do that again. Blah, 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 blah. And... I'm assuming, put this here. Now the text is gonna scroll up the screen. So if you want end credits, you can use that template. There's, I haven't really played around with these templates. So you have scrolling, simple with date, and simple. Let's see what simple is. Simple just seems to be plain text. I don't know if it does any type of animation. Oh, it does. It kinda scrolls from the center. Let me add a new title clip. 
right now I'm just oh, right now I'm just playing around. <laughs> like I said, I I looked at this stuff a while ago. Center, center, center. Oh, that's right. I gotta choose a template first. Simple with date. Yes. Oh, look at that little. That's actually kind of nice if you want to have some sort of you know who's talking. Chris, smart guy. <laughs> and then the date we can say 2016, whatever today's date is. Uh, I don't even know what today's date is. I think it's the 21st. Oh, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. It confuses me that they put the year first. Anyway, okay. And now I'm probably getting boring. So there we go. That's a nice little under screen thing there. I would personally make an image in GIMP to do something like that and make it look a little bit nicer. But if you need to do it quick, there you go. So that is it for this this video. It's been 11 minutes, so it hasn't been that long. So that was the title clip editor. Again, something I wanted to show you. Does come in handy. I actually do use it all the time. Again, just to like give credit for when I use Creative Commons music that I've got to attribute somebody in. Or if I'm doing home videos and I just want to put the date so I remember when we went on that trip or when my kids did something. But if I was going to do a real like text intro uh, to something, to a video, I would probably create it in Blender is what I normally do. But uh, that's it. Again. It's part of a series. Check out all the links in the description, to the playlist, to my website, to uh, my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash millx1000. If you want to become a supporter because you like my videos so much, great. If you can't support me financially, think about sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting on this video. And again, new video each week. Don't ask me why you can't access next week's video. It's because it hasn't been released yet. If you are a Patreon supporter, you would have gotten it already. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.